pony to do it and they're coming because they eat grass so they need to eat grass and then that means that the field that they come from there's two jesses and then that means that where they come from hello jess's sister are you jess's sister amy that's amy, amy. yeah hi amy and that means that then their field will get a break because grass needs to grow doesn't it if it's nibbled on all the time it doesn't grow wow that's fantastic that's amazing and the competition what's the competition and the competition and um, so it's where like um you get to like show them off like it's a horse competition so ah you get to show them off is it like chess it's online, Do chess? It's online. An online horse, horse competition. competition. Do they play chess or Scrabble or what's the competition? So, um, one... Cutest companion. Cutest companion. And oh. Handler. And new handler and lots of other stuff. That sounds incredibly exciting. Will you let us know how that goes next week? It's Will you take some photographs? Yeah, what, are the, um, what, what are your you lawnmower's name? And then send them to the judges and you get rosettes and trophies. Ah. Oh, well, maybe you can share us with the photographs next week. Because I know that you know how to share your screen, Jess. I know. <laughs> that, <laughs> that would be really brilliant, Jess, if you could show us next week. We'd really like like that more rosettes because we got more a rosette rosettes. today didn't yes. we yes yes we did yes <laughs> rosettes all round oh and sue is making <coughs> rosettes look at that that's how much is what's happening today it's so exciting oh that's brilliant and who jess have a look around who would you like to pass the stick to if you would like the stick pop your hand up so jess knows that somebody is ready for it so oh. ryan and toby and Laurie have their hands up. Who would you like to pass it to, Jess? I don't know. Okay, so let's pass it over to Ryan, because Ryan had his hand up really quick this morning earlier on. There you go, Ryan. Just waiting for an un... There we go. There you um, go. Hello. Um, I haven't really been doing much today so far, but I've, um, there was a... Because my school that I used to go to wanted to do like a Google Meet thing, which is basically um, an equivalent to a Zoom, which, um, and I did it and I didn't like it at all. No, why didn't you um, like it, Ryan? It was main, it was kind of the app, but it was also that it's just, they, they were doing nothing at all. They couldn't get anything done at all. It just didn't work. And then yesterday, if one was even worse, there was way too many people in it and they were all talking at once. Wow. That's, that but sounds yeah. like it was very chaotic, Ryan. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm glad that these Zooms work for you and that you're enjoying these ones. So, so that's, that's good. And you, you can see the beautiful coordination that Leon and Kinder do for you. I think it's working um, all right. There's, um, you know, their turns too. I also, I did go, then, I went, Ryan. Because the schools open to year sixes and the ones who had parents who were um, key workers, um, I went back for the like up and up until th Thursday. Okay. And then didn't go after. It no. Was, they couldn't deal with bullying in a class of ten. Okay. Well, that's that's not very very good. Is it? Not easy for you either. No. Yeah. That's it. Okay, so you're so you're you didn't go back to school on the Friday. No. Also, I have a banana. You have a banana, and Ryan, we uh, you know, we I think we put it out on on Facebook, and we're going to send an email out today. But just so that you know that we are looking at ways of of being able to open here again at that forest store and it will take it will take us a little while to make sure we've got the things in place and to tick all the boxes and have chats with your with your adults and all of that kind of I was, thing i was gonna say because you can have i think it's up to six now on the out um outside i was gonna say you could have you could do like two different groups a day like a week or something 
they have three in the morning, three in the afternoon. Mm, I think we can have actually about up to fi up to fifteen actually in a in a group. Okay. We're looking at having a group in the morning and a group in the afternoon, but maybe running them so that that same group could come on different days. So you can come for three mornings if you like, or you could come for three afternoons. But you'll stay in your bubble. They call it bubbles. So you'll have like mm. a little bubble that you're coming. But we're going to look into all of that, and then we'll have a Zoom meeting with your parents and you if you want to come along of course you're always welcome so that we can show you what we've got planned and then pick up any other ideas that anybody has and uh and then it will be open to the people who want to to, to come along and we'll be very very careful with that and um and and if you aren't able to come along or don't feel ready that's also absolutely fine because your place will be here when you are ready yeah well maybe he can okay. come and give us some advice you know yeah it, that's it sounds it. like all, his, that's what his, i was saying yes. they can come yeah. to the zoom as well they can come to the zoom as well yeah. that sounds a very good idea ryan you've got some good ideas there thank you ryan okay. and i know gonna... i saw ryan last wednesday because i was in the woods yeah. and ryan came running in for a stick and it was it was really difficult because I wanted to go hi and I couldn't I had to stay way back but it was lovely to see your face in the woods Ryan just as we were leaving okay Ryan who would you like uh, to talk, pass the talking stick to like put your hand up if you want the talking stick um oh, Toby's got his hand up Laurie's got his hand up Flynn's got um, his, his Laurie snorkel then. up that's the first one I saw who did you say sorry um Laurie there you go. Hello. Hi. We've been doing fire strikes. <gasps> what? Fire strikes. That is really exciting. They're one of my favourite things. They're like magic, aren't they? And how have you been using them? What have you been doing? We've been lighting cotton wool on fire. Wow. Have you? Wow. Do you know? Yesterday we had a, a friend runner and I lit the fire and I was practicing making a little fire and me uh, and the friend were handing with the dry big fire. Oh wow really you with know when it's a metal oh wow you know what Laurie there are lots of things lots of things in the hedgerows fluffy things that you can collect and use instead of cotton wool like old man's beard like old man's beard and thistle seed, thistle seed. And so when you're on your next walk Laurie have a look around and see what's growing and see if you can find any seed heads that you can then take home with you and see if it works with your fire strike do an experiment a little bit later perhaps in the year yeah, well, you can still find things in the hedgerow now. Find, can you? Can you? you can. can you? Well done. You yeah, Rose Bay Willow herb. Quite often there's still Rose some Bay seeds Willow hanging herb. on. Right. <laughs> yeah, and okay. dry cleavers. Have a look. See what you can find. So, tell, anything else to say, Laurie? Laurie, have you been doing any reading? Oh, yeah. I thought you might have done some reading. Go on, tell us. Look at that book. What size of the book have you read this time? Was it this big, this big, this big? What was it called? Black Beauty. <gasps> Black Beauty. Is that Black Beauty? Is, it, is that Black Beauty? It's Lloyd's, Lloyd's back, Lloyd's back. No, was it? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, what is, is that? That is Black Beauty, Mom, isn't it? Been reading Lloyd this to him. Mom, oh, you're really still reading? Mum is at once. I'm not reading it. Mummy's reading it to me. Mum, Mummy's Mom, reading it to me. Because I haven't, because Mummy hasn't read this to me before, so I have, so she reads it to me and then I read it to myself. Oh, that is just such a lovely thing it's to do. Wizard. I love it. You know, Stu, one, Laurie, one of the things about growing up that I don't like so much is that nobody reads to me anymore. And I love it when people tell me stories and read to me. So when we are all back at Forest School, if you ever fancy reading me a story, I'd love that because that's one of the things I Once miss. Upon about a time, there was a little... <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a what? Little boy. A little boy. Oh boy. That's the beginning of I a massive adventure. I Maybe later on today, up. at the end, we can make up our own I story. I'm going to give you a spark. I'm going to give you a spark. Go on then, give us a spark. 
Oh, wow. wow. First spark on Zoom I've ever seen. Can I have a look? You can, do it again. can you do it again? Whoa. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> That is really good. Of oh, course, wow. you're making sure that nothing around you is going to catch on fire when that like happens. Like a computer. Like a computer. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what, how computers burn. That's another thing entirely. That, oh, that's really lovely to speak to you. Where would you like to pass your talking stick? Brooke and Sky. Brooke, Brooke and Sky. It's over to you, Brooke. Here you go. Can you grab it? Hey, where's Sky? Is Sky, is Sky there? Sky's in the sky. Hang on, you're, okay. you're still muted, we just coming. I think you need to click on mute on your side. Can you click on your side? Yes. yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Where's Hello. Sky, Brooke? She's playing. She's playing. Oh, she's playing. How are you, Brooke? Good. I've been making my own butterfly chart. Oh, have you? Can I see it? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come with you. <laughs> a butterfly chart. Butterfly chart. She's been making her own butterfly chart. She's just, gone, She's to just gone to get it. Oh. <gasps> here it is, here it is. Oh, wow. oh my oh, hey, that's goodness really cool. me. That's, that's really brilliant. Cool. I'm just gonna click on speak of you so we can get a a better look oh, at yes. that. Oh, well done, Brooke. That's beautiful. Oh, hold it up for me, Brooke. Oh, no, I can't and take it. Have you seen okay, all those butterflies? Hang on, just keep, keep it up there. Keep holding it up. We want to take a picture of it because it's so beautiful. No. <laughs> Oh, you seem to have frozen, um, Forest School. Uh, Meg, is that the same for you? Oops. Technical difficulties in the forest. <laughs> is that okay? Can you hear me uh, on yeah. this one? We're having a little bit of a technical situation. An issue, but look at the frozen picture of us. It's You're in cool. two places at once. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> Brooke, carry on. Tell me um, about how you've got your picture, how you've done that. Uh, uh, we have a butterfly tray. We copied some of that and we copied some of the computer too. Oh, wow. Oh, and we saw one too. What? Yeah, I don't think it's uh... Whereabouts did you see you are? Whereabouts did you see your butterfly? Going to a walk for a lake, and when I spotted it, I was up a tree. <laughs> that you know what? That sometimes there's a. Do you remember John John Muir? Yes. Do you remember John Muir? Yes. John Muir is somebody to look into if you don't know who John Muir is. But he used to do things like that. Yeah. Jump over his fence, climb up places, and watch. Because quite often when you're sitting somewhere like in a tree, you see the most amazing things that you wouldn't see anywhere else. <laughs> yes. I can't hear you. all climbed up a tree together on, on the same one. Did you really? You were all up the same tree. Yeah. And what, what sort of butterfly did you see up that tree? It was a caterpillar. Oh, you saw a caterpillar? Which one? That one there? The brown stripy one? Yeah. Oh my goodness me. That is just incredible. I love that. I think I might make myself a butterfly it's chart. Yeah, very, that's a that lovely yellow one. What's the yellow one? This one. Yes. Yeah. Has it got a name? It's the cinnabar moth. It's a cinnabar moth. It's a cinnabar moth. Wow. That's amazing. And what kind of tree were you in? Do you know? An oak tree. An oak, An tree. oak tree. So cinnabar moths must like oak trees. And it grows into a swan moth. This one. Oh, it grew to a swan moth. This one. Like that, that one there. Oh. Yeah, 
I'd like to be a swan moth because then you'd have a really long neck. You'd be able to swim in a pond and then fly off <laughs> and be a caterpillar and an egg and be in a cocoon and then surprise everyone because you look like a swan. Amazing. Magic, Brooke, as usual, magic. Has, ha, ha, have you been doing any, any cooking with elderflower? Oh. No. We, we can do some later, we don't worry. We can. We can. We've got, I think, Flora's uh, uh, cordial to try. Oh, we, we might try, yes. yes. Might try Flora's yeah, cordial. Yeah, which you can try some if you like, because it's, it's oh, interactive yeah. TV. It's interactive TV, yes, interactive. <laughs> Brilliant. Brooke, that is fantastic and well really done. gorgeous. Thank you for showing us that. I really love it. I really love it. Uh, Brooke, I'm just, just to, sorry, just to interrupt you. Um, uh, one of our benefactors is going to give us a moth moth trap. <gasps> I didn't know that. Yes, you didn't actually. It's just just just, just, heard announced. It, just announced it, and so we'll, <laughs> we'll 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 take up your um your your moth interest Good. in the in the woods. Did you hear that? We're going to be able to check out some moths. Oh oh, let's have a look at mermaid. How's she doing? Oh, oh honestly, she mermaid. gets more beautiful every week. She does more beautiful every single week. Will she be coming to the woods? Is she going to come to forest school, Sue asks? Yeah. Yeah, of Yay. course. We'll of course. Put her name on the list. Yep, yeah, put her name on the list. Okay, yep, yeah, she'll be coming. What's her name? What's her name? Uh, mermaid. 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 Right, okay. she's called Mermaid. I think I can spell it. Maid. <laughs> Sorry. Mermaid the mermaid. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> Right. Okay, Brooke, who would you like to pass the talking stick to? Uh, you could ask, do you, you want to ask someone else to choose? Meg. Toby's got his hand up. Toby's looking very keen. Oh, Toby. Toby. Okay. Toby. 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 Over to you. Here he is, Toby. Grab it. Yay. Thank you. Um, I have been doing some things with elderflower. Great. What have you been doing? So. We had some <gasps> cordial. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Our cordial. But with a date on it, that's good. Yes, you can. Yeah, we made it yesterday and it's brewed overnight. Wow. Um, you know, can I just bring say something here, Toby? That's a little bit yeah. inappropriate, probably. But, um, you know, there's a chart, and I forget what it's called, about when you've got a healthy wee, when you've been drinking enough water. And if this was on the chart, this would be healthy. a healthy, healthy, healthy urine sample. But <laughs> it's not urine, it's elderflower. Anyway, I'm going okay, to say don't drink it now. Now I'll definitely not drink <laughs> it. <laughs> Toby, and did you use, got, Toby, can I ask, did you use the hot method or the cold method? Hot. The hot, okay. That, that's what, uh, what we've used too. Got some elderflowers. Fantastic. And That's great. Can you just count me how many petals are on that on one of those flowers, please? What do you mean by petals? So if you look at the individual what flower, so if you look at the head of your elderflower, mm -hmm. and you look at an individual flower, yeah, can you see how many petals it has? Um, like um, one, very two, small. three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, you're, you're counting all the flowers, aren't you? Just to, to separate them right up, Toby, to just one single tiny little flower like this. Oh, I see. So one flower uh -huh. like um, that, just one flower like that. How many petals are on that one flower? Oh, five. <gasps> yes. Five. And that is one of the reasons, it's one of the kind of symbols, really, that this tree is magic because it's got five leaves to uh, well uh, you know to, to show you how connected we are so one represents earth one represents water one represents air one represents fire and the set and the last one represents spirit that is in mm -hmm. everything five petals of this magic tree which is I pretty see. cool i mean you'll um, know that Eva will know that because she is our witch, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is our, she's she our is witch. Our witch. Yeah, she'll know. I've she'll got know one thing that I think will top it all. Caterpillars! Yeah. No way! More caterpillars! It's like the theme of <laughs> oh, the week! Can, can we see them? Can, we, can you bring them a little bit closer? A little bit um, higher? Lift it higher where your camera is. Oh, yes. Oh, look at They're that. They're little. They'll grow to be huge. They're two days old. 
Oh, what are they? Do you know what kind of caterpillars they are? Uh, can I give you one guess? <laughs> Cabbage white? Uh, no, they're painted lady. A painted, painted lady. lady. Yeah, wow. we've been having you it know... for every year for about five years, is it? Yeah, five years. Five years. Painted ladies. Yeah. I can't wait to watch them and change into butterflies. Will you show us each week what's going on? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, once when I went to school, um, I found a little caterpillar and we watched it grow. We, we made it a little habitat in the classroom. <laughs> That's yeah. really cool. And then we released it back onto the school playing field. Oh, that's a really good thing. I mean, the releasing bit is so important, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it was, um, you know, I think it was, I think it was called an apple moth, I think. An apple moth? No, we moth? called it apple. We called it apple because the caterpillar was green. Ah. Uh, it was black. They all look very different, don't they, caterpillars? Some of them yeah. are hairy. Some of them aren't. Their legs are different. They move different. I really like the ones that move like that. You yeah. Know the ones I mean, that kind of bend in the middle and then they've got feet and then there's nothing and then there's feet and then there's nothing and they just do that. Did you know that the bigger the, the um, butterfly, the longer the lifespan? No. no. Life I didn't know that. None of us did. The bigger the caterpillar. <laughs> the longer the butterfly, it's bigger the butterfly. Bigger the butterfly, the longer it's life. The butterfly. Can, the butterfly. If the longest. That that is incredible. Huge. Which ones last the longest? Did you say? Swallowtails, because they're huge. Swallowtails. Oh yeah. my goodness me, aren't they so beautiful? Yeah, definitely. They're I saw one in the wild once. Wow, yeah, you yeah, lucky yeah. thing. Around how how yeah. long do they? How long do they live? I don't know. Do you know? Uh, let's a find month. out. A month. A, month. a, a month. whole month. That's yeah. amazing. That's really Isn't nice. it incredible? Do you know, I was watching Spring Watch last night talking about butterflies. Oh my goodness me. Uh, Spring Watch last night, which you'll be able to watch again on the television, we're talking about butterfly wings and how the scientists used to think that they were just, they were just wings. There was nothing really in those wings. But then they've done Gale. some more study. And they found they've got heart in their wings no, really? like oh, butterfly really? hearts hearts in their hearts. wings in their wings which so is they've got it. have they got two or three hearts does that mean two so one in each wing one in each one in each wing they've seen it and it's and it lets them it, it's telling them much more about what's going on in their environment than they ever thought before. So, you know, when you hold a butterfly and the dust comes off and you oh, mustn't hold the butterfly, want to let it go because of the dust. But there's so much more going on in those wings when we damage them Amazing. than just the dust. Check it out, Toby. Have mm -hmm. a look on Spring Watch last night. Rewatch it. Maybe you can rewatch that bit or there might be some information on there website about it but it was incredible and they did like um infrared uh imagery of the wings and you could see which bits were warm and which bits weren't which is i just think amazing uh amazing i once went to a museum and they had a, um, a dead butterfly with a microscope on it and you could zoom in and see each individual scale on it Gosh. That is amazing. Do you know, Toby, one of the things I'd really like to get is you can get magnifying, um, what they're called, microscopes, yes. but for your phone. So it's like a digital one. So we can bring it to the woods and then you put it on something and then it shows you the image actually on, on the phone. And, it, and apparently they're really, really good. So that's one of the things that one day when we've got this little pot of what shall we buy money, I think that we should buy one of those. Because yes, it would yes. be great to have that, that set that up. That sounds awesome. Yes. I've it also does, Okay. Um yeah. Uh, what so... do you you're about oh. to say you I I also recently made this as well. No way. TARDIS. What is it? A TARDIS. <gasps> it's a TARDIS. Oh yes. Oh let me get oh hang on a second. I'll get it. 
Oh no, I won't get a picture. <laughs> do you know what? We can take a picture of the recording afterwards. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you know what? I would like to be the next Doctor Who. That's that's kind of on my bucket list. Your bucket list is things you want to do. What the next? I'll doctor? fight you for it. <laughs> I'll be the next Leon, Doctor. Leon. 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 <laughs> I'll, yes. I'll, I'll, no, I'll fight you for it. I'll, no, this is, this is a match. Yeah. <laughs> Leon, we can do it together in a non-hierarchical way. Oh, good, true. Yes, okay, that's that's better. <laughs> Me so, and Leon, Doctor the two Who. last Time Lords. Yes. <laughs> two, two Time oh. Lords. Because you know I am a time traveller. Yeah? yeah. I mean, you know, all of you know who have been there. You've heard my time travelling stories each you week. You go through time, Leon goes through space. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Sure. Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. And then we can link up at the end. Yeah. 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 I can see a wand. I can see a wand. I can see a wand I waving around. Wand, yeah. So, Toby, who would you like to pass the talking stick to? I think, you have to I go think to the I'd wand. like to pass it. Who hasn't had it yet? Jess. Jess hasn't had it. And neither has um, Tris, but Tris has collapsed. And Rosie is I... there. Could I give it yes. to yes. Alice? Had it. Say Eva that hasn't had it. Oh, Eva, where's Eva? Eva's just here. Oh, good. So, okay, so I'm just Eva, gonna. I'm yeah. just doing a little wave to Joy, who's just arrived. Uh, Hi, Joy. Is so, that Alice? Um, Eva, would you like this? Yes. Oh, well, where's I, your I wand? Oh. She said yes. She's just run yeah, to yeah, get yeah. her wand. Wand. Oh, and here is the witch. Hello, <gasps> witch. Yes. So, um, yeah, what's what's been going down in the in the witch household this week? Lots of homework. A lots of homework. Is that? Look at this. That... Look what mummy bought me for my birthday. No way. I mean, that's just amazing, oh, isn't it? What is it? It's a tie, Rachel. It's a tie. It's a tie. It's a, it's a witch tie. Oh, it's witch because tie. I mean, she's been to Hogwarts. Ah. And not just that. It's a Gryffindor tie. Ah, oh, it's a Gryffindor tie. <laughs> and I got robes. I'm loving your robes. Oh, oh the look robe. At that. It's so amazing. And Eva, a cloak. And a cloak. And some Hogwarts shoes. No, shoes. Shoes? Oh, oh yes, lace-ups. Oh, I could do well, some Hogwarts. I've got some Hogwarts shoes. Can I show you? I don't know. If they're sparkly. Them. Are they sparkly? Yeah, I literally, I had them before. Um, I had them, okay, I've had them since I was, like, little. So they just turned into Hogwarts shoes today. Yeah. And, and what's that a wand I saw? And what's that one made of? I know what that wand is made of. Do you know what that wand is made of? It looks a very white wood to me, a very white it's a wood. It's very white wood. Strip the bark. Yeah, and oh, do you know what? It's got five petals. Has it got five the, petals on, on the, the flower? flower? And not just that, but there's loads of flowers on oh. like, the flower, look. Yeah. So it's a, it's so a magic let me try tree. and think, which is there's true, five petals, and it's, um, and, uh, it's a magic tree. And um, does it begin with E? It begins with E. It and begins you can with make e. a syrup out of it. And you can make a syrup. Oh, it must be Elva. I mean, Elza. <laughs> oh. No? We stripped the bark off. Oh, did you? What tree? What kind of tree was it that you stripped silver the bark birch. off? A silver, silver birch. A silver birch. <gasps> that's the bark. Oh, nice. that's amazingly bark. magic. Now, silver birch ones, I tell you. The yes. It's the best thing. And the yes. bark. There's also this one. Elder. Silver birch. Oh, silver birch is a traditional wood for a wand. Yeah, silver oh, you got birch two there? and fig wood. This is fig wood. Fig, fig wood. wood. This is my silver birch. Oh, oh, for, di for, di for different spells? Do you use no. them for different spells? No, yeah. no, no, you can do, um, you can do um, one spell with one wand. You can do oh, I see. Spell. Maybe one one for Monday, one one for Tuesday. No, you only allow one wand. Oh, only one. Oh, oh, is okay. there different strengths? Is one like medium strength? No. One... No. They're just made of different wood. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. I've got it. I've awesome. got it, Eva. I've got it. Actually, just... a notebook and pen. Okay, I've got a notebook and pen. See a notebook and pen. Wait, Axio notebook and pen, the other notebook. Axio! Yeah, 
Oh, no, Pinocchio. Dipolso. <laughs> Pinocchio. Dipolso. Dipolso. <laughs> Axio. What does that do? Dipolso. <gasps> <laughs> I know oh, oh something's happened to Toby. Toby's background keeps turning into a leaf. Oh, something's happened. The spell has turned the parachute on its side. Yes, it has. On the Mel Harrison yes. picture. No, that's no, that's just a um, Axio is a summoning spell, and um, and Depulso is put it back where it was spell. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so. I've got your hair. Eva. Are you, so, is it, of Levinosa. Is that so, one? Are you in, so are you you are in Gryffindor? Is that what you, the hat sorted you into? Because I'm a Slytherin. <laughs> I have. Let's just say. Oh, hang on. Um, on the Neon's internet, one. we found this quiz, and the quiz told me Gryffindor twice. Oh, you're very Gryffindor. That's Gryffindor good. and Gryffindor. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, when, when I went to Hogwarts, it was a really long time ago, like about three centuries ago. And uh, we had different names for the school bits then. We didn't have like Gryffindor and all of that. We had things like Boris. And, um, no, we didn't have Boris. That's why I actually said it. And um, <laughs> that was the baddies. That was the baddies. And uh, <laughs> we had um, uh, things like Hilda. Oh, yes. Hilda, the group of Hilders. Yeah. And they yes. all wore really fluffy hats. Uh, rather than witches. Yes, but you see, Godric Gryffindor is one of the founders of Hogwarts, and so is Rowany Ravenclaw, and so is Salazar Slytherin, and so is Helga Hufflepuff. I trained all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, well, I'm actually 476. That's how old I am. They are the founders of Hogwarts. Yeah, but you see, I was pre-Hogwarts. I went to um, Pigwarts. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you much more about that when I come back to forest school. Oh, we need um, to get Tris on the, on the line. I can oh, tell yeah. you all the teachers' names. Okay, go on then, quickly. Tell us all the teachers' names. Ramona Sprout. Sprout. Ramona McGonagall. Alvis McGonagall. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. I like him. He's all right. Professor Flitwick. Flitwick. Yeah, he's a bit of... He's, he's, Bit of a flick wing. He can get rid of his bogey. Professor Slughorn, <laughs> Professor Snape, Professor Umbridge, Professor Lupin, Professor Quirrell. Squirrel? Quirrel. Professor Squirrel? Quirrell. 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 That's a lot of teachers. That's a lot, yes. Um, that is more. That's a lot of yeah. teachers. The okay, so just, um, Professor Lupin. Professor Umbridge, P Professor oh, Lockhart, and Professor Quirrell were all doing defence against the dark arts throughout years. Oh wow! Two of them only last three terms, it, but then it's an important in the one, last book, the dark lords. Most, yeah. mostly baddies are teaching at Hogwarts. Oh no! Because in the Half Blood Prince, which is the book with um, Snape as the defence against the Dark Arts teacher. Dumbledore get die. Spoilers, gets spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If anyone <laughs> hasn't seen it, spoilers. Sorry, <laughs> to say. Leon is, is passionate about not having any spoilers there. <laughs> okay. I've, I've read Eva. it, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Eva, would you like to pass the talking stick over to, to Tris? Because Tris hasn't, where is Tris? Oh, he's still there. Sure. Tris, are you there? Oh, there he is, boing! Shall we pass it over and we can come back to you in a bit, Eva? Thank you for sharing. That's brilliant. Our own personal witch. Here you go, Tris. Over to you. Come and grab the talking stick. Oh, it needs to be unmuted on your side. Can you unmute it there, Tris? We can't do it. Well done. Well, uh, well, uh, I don't know what it's like. okay. Uh, first, Hi, first. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Uh, right now we're at Dad's work. Are you? Right, we're in the back. Right now, 
He, oh yeah, someone else is here as well. Huh? Who's here? Hang on. Hang on. Oh, hello. Oh, we can see half of you. Just that, half of you, an arm and a leg. Is that Billy? Oh, 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 there we can see all of you. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the woods. <laughs> so what, what are you doing at work today? Are you doing a job? Sitting down and doing nothing. Yeah. Sitting down and doing nothing. And what is your dad doing whilst you're doing that? Uh, getting, the, uh, getting the shop back into place so they can reopen again. Oh, well, that will be exciting. He's going to have a long queue of people waiting yeah. for the shop to open. I can imagine. We're very, very busy. That's kind yeah. of what we're doing here as well, Tris. We're beginning to put things in place. We're thinking through all the processes and we're going through all the lists and building extra hand washing stations and all sorts of things like that, we're getting ready for you to come back to the woods at some point in the future. Well, what, what's your dad doing to get ready to open? Uh, he's built, um, he's putting stuff together and um, cleaning everything up. Okay. Cleaning, there's a lot of cleaning to be done. Isn't a lot there, of cleaning, yes. Preparation. He's a, he's a, you know, a barber, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. So he's getting all of the wash basins. Uh, Do you know he what? has his own business. It's his own, own business. business, yeah. There's something very... Very exciting. Very exciting. Happening in your dad's hat. hat. What? What do you think it is? Okay, so what was there when you last looked? Yes. A nest. And then guess what happened after that that we didn't know about? What? Yes. Uh, a tiny, tiny, tiny little bird. Kind of our smallest bird in the country. I think it's our smallest bird in the country. Travelled into there, finished making its nest, laid eggs. Now, it must have been sitting on the eggs behind my camera for the last few zooms because it was discovered yesterday that that little wren has got baby wrens living in your dad's hat in no, the garden. Well, you can't. We don't want it. We don't want to disturb them. You see. What we're going to try and do. We'll, we'll try and take a photograph. We'll try and put a camera outside, and when they fledge, we'll be able to see them fledge. But let me tell you something about a wren. That the the male wren builds many many nests, and only one is chosen by the female. So the wren must have built other nests around, but the female chose that nest in your dad's hat. <laughs> Will you let him know that, Tris? Will you let him know that of all the Yeah, let him know now. No, definitely. Yeah, go, go, really let him know. go let him know. Yes, go. Rosie, you can talk to us while that's happening. What have you been up to? Rosie, what flavour is your thumb today? What? What flavour is your thumb? Is it strawberry? Hazelnut? No, um, vanilla. No, what's your favourite? Lemon drizzle. Lemon drizzle. He said, ah, oh, cool. He went, ah, oh, cool. <laughs> Is he? Good. <laughs> He's already said that, my hat with a nest in. That's so exciting that the male, that must have been why there was a gap, Rachel. Yes. Because we were picking it up for a couple of weeks yes, and we looking were. at it yes, and nothing we in there. And it must have been over those weeks yeah. when the, he was wooing the female. And, he, and so he had to build it. She said, no, not that no, one. No, not that one. Not that one. Try so, again. Try again. So you built no, somewhere else? Not that one. Not that one. No, try again. No, not that one. Maybe the first one. <laughs> Maybe the first one. Maybe the first that one. That first one that's built in a barber's hat. That barber's hat one, In yeah. the wood. Yeah. We'll have that one, please. <laughs> so we'll try and take photos. And um, I'm just trying to keep up with you, Tris. Is, um, is, is Joy there? Huh? Joy, it was Joy, Joy who found Joy's, the nest. Is oh, Joy, Joy there? Found it. No, Joy, Lorna. Joy found the it. nest. Yeah. Oh, Lord, Lorna is disconnected. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's. Oh. I think has everybody, has everybody, um, has everybody so. spoken? Has the stick been round? I think so. I, I think so. I think yeah. I think it has. Any, any questions from anybody? Oh, what's this? What? Should we carry no, on? No, no, no. Laurie, have you got a question? 
We're just going to go up. We're just going to, we're going to go on to the elder then. We're going to go on to the elder right now. We're going to go on to the elder now. Here we have, here we have the elder. And here we have the elder oh, flower. I'm just going to film you, Rachel. Oh, okay. Here we are. Here's the elder and the elder. Have you, you've got, all got your other elders around. So there it is going through. Big shout out to the elders. Woo! So it's interesting what what uh, what Mel was was saying actually about the um about the five petals because the apple has that too. Yes, and that's a magic tree. It's a ma yes, and it's it has a name for it. A, a pent something. It's going to be a pent. Is it? Yeah, yes, but there's a there's is a, it of the flowers. Uh, it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a flower name. Yes, I'll try. A and, botanical name. A botanical name even. Yes. Anyhow, we'll we'll find that out for later. But we've got the um. We've, we've got the, uh, I don't know which, which camera I'm looking in at the moment. Uh, we've got the elder flowers here. And um, do you remember, do you remember that, that funny woman with a hat? Do you remember that funny woman with a hat that was here last week? <laughs> ah, yes, I agree. Do you, do you remember the, the elder flower that she made? Because here it is. And do you remember I said it was um, about the elvers? And I got that completely wrong. So somebody made this cordial and they called it elver cordial. But, but everybody except for me knows that elvers are, are baby eels and not to do with elders. You don't want to crush up baby eels. <laughs> eels are amazing. Yes, they are amazing. They are amazing. They remind me of Mighty Boosh, and I'm not going to sing that one. <laughs> but they, they are incredible. They do amazing journeys. Maybe we can look at those another time. Maybe we can look at those another time. Now we've started elvers. Yes, I think we could. Now, I just want to tell you a couple of things about elvers. I mean, elders. I must get this right, right. Now, very important to know what, two things, really. The first is, it's an absolutely useless tree. You know, you, you can't, you can't, <laughs> you, you can't make a chair out of it like you can an ash. Uh, you can't build a house out of it like you can in the Suffolk, you know. You can't build ships out of it. You can't make floorboards out of it like you can maple. You know, it's useless. It's an absolutely useless tree. It's not a useless tree. <laughs> It's not. I, I put my case down. It's not a useless tree. Maybe the wood is not good for humans. There is that. But the extraordinary thing is, it's useless and it's also very untidy. It, you know, it's a kind of, it hasn't got a shape, you know, it hasn't got a, a pretty shape like a hazel. Um, check these out. <laughs> the actual tree is not very pretty. You know, the kind of, a, it's a very untidy, it's untidy, it's untidy. Beauty tree. is in the eye of the beholder. It's very untidy. So despite this uselessness and untidiness, it is the most mystical and healing of all trees. Now, I'm not going to tell you about that because somebody else is. But I'm just going to tell you one thing, and then I'm going to show you, a, we're, we're going to have a bit of music. One thing, the, the name, it's Latin name, which is, I have to, I have to look this up, you know, because I can't remember it, Sambucus Nigra, Sabucus Nigra, means fire. And it means fire because one of the uses of the useless elder was it's got a hollow stem. And they use that hollow stem to blow into the fire. Here's our fire here. So to blow into the fire to create more oxygen and that's why the old name means fire and the only other thing i'm going to tell you about the elder is jk rowling who i think some of you know had a book which was called harry potter and the deathly hallows but i i can see i can see a face there eva is excited but do you know the working title of that book was not that the working title, oh, hello, Ryan. I'm just going to give you, do you know the working title, Ryan? I'm pretty sure. Was it, um, Harry, is, I think it was, I can't, I think it, I want to say it was Harry Potter and the Elder Wand or something like that. You're absolutely spot on. It was, it, um, yes. It, yes. It follows the tales of Beedle yes. and the Bard. Um, and the Elder Wand is made out of elder wood with a thestral hair core. With a what core? Or a, thest a thestral hair core. 
kestrel hair. Wow. Kestrel. I am making one of those. Kestrel. Kestrel. Okay. It's, it's, kestrel. A it's basically a horse that looks like it's dead, and only the people who have witnessed who have witnessed and processed death can see it. Oh my goodness me, that my is goodness heavy. Me. That is, that is. That is a really good one. Who has witnessed and, and processed death. Because the reason why um not in the hair, first book, the, yes. <laughs> the reason why in the first book why Harry can't see why there's no mention of thresholds is because when they pull the cart, Harry can't see them because he has witnessed death, but he hasn't processed it. Because when he was when he witnessed it, he was a baby. But then when he saw another person die. He witnessed it and processed it. Wow. Processed That's it. a really, do you know what? That conversation yeah. is one for around our fire pit. Yeah. Definitely. That is, that the is. The difference between witnessing yeah. and, processing. and processing. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, he was a baby, he didn't really, he didn't properly understand it. Yeah. But then there's also loads of other lore, how the how the sec how one of the other deathly hallows um the resurrection stone leads you to death by seeing um by showing you love um dead loved ones so it makes you want so um it makes you go insane and then and then makes you want to kill yourself so wow. It, wow. so Hush. all in the end the deathly yeah. hallows were given to three brothers um by death and they all eventually ended up to them dying the only one that didn't make him die was the um, was the invisibility cloak. Ah, wow. Do you wow. know, it I really made me want to go and watch Harry Potter again, actually. I could read them, but yeah. I quite like the films too. It has made me want to do that. I, was, I, I like, I like you, the books way more, way more than the, um, the films. Than the films, yeah. yeah. Always the, the case, first, isn't it? The first three films are nearly as good as the books, but after that, it starts getting worse and worse. Yeah. Mainly because in the fourth film, um, the director changed from the third film. And the third film, in my opinion, is the best movie. But, well, we should have the, a Harry Potter day. In the eighth, in the eighth, in, in the eighth film, but yeah. Wow. Because the, because the um, director changed, he thought he then had to compete with the other people, so he, he, and he thought, oh, I've seen this before, I can't now do it, and he did really bad on it. Yeah, that's good observations there, Ryan. Fantastic. Can, can I just finish up on Elder, Ryan? Mm. I just want to show you a can very... I, can I just say, though, oh, yes. at the end of that, to move it back yes. on to Elder, yes. is that what I love about Elder is it's got that a hollow in the middle, so you can put Kestrel's, Kestrel's hairs, hairs in it. which are rare Kestrel hairs, um, but you can you can put whatever you want in the middle, can't you? So we can make our own individual ones when we're we all could. back at forest school. When we're back at forest school. We can pull it out the middle yes. and make super ones. Yes. I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to tantalise you with food. Food I'm going to tantalise you with. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to go... Oh, the wrong one. Oh, my goodness me. Rachel, uh, share screen. Let me come back to that. Stop sharing. Uh, share screen. Where is it? Oh, there. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. I think we're not on. We are on this one. Oh, yes. Now that's the untidy bush. That's the autumn colours. There's, there's the fire wand. That's where you, what you blow through. It's a necklace you can make. And some musical instruments. <laughs> and a pencil. A bit of decoration. Now this is, um, this is elderflower jelly. Elderflower fritters. Oh yeah, fritters. Um, elderflower and raspberry jelly. The juice. Uh, this is um, a, a compote with cream infused with elderflower. Champagne. A whistle. A 
and a cake. Oh, Wouldn't yes. you like that cake? And this is a honey and elderflower with no with no flower, just the elderflower. We'll just go around once more. I'm going to go and disappear. Are you going to disappear? Excellent. This is the untidy bush. So this is all the hollow qualities of it. Here's a pencil. That's beautiful. It's too tall, that's Yes. It's that, doesn't that look good? Elderflower yeah. jelly. Makes me hungry. That looks so good. And that's that's that that's with the cream infused with the uh, with the with the cordial. There we are. How was that? Now. Uh, yes, is that is that okay? Are you going to do some baking? Are you going to do some making and baking? Yes. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, Ryan is definitely going to do some making and baking. Actually, Ryan, that should really inspire you. One of the things I really liked was the recipe for something called eat and mess. So eat and mess is you you make whipped cream. Yes. Is that Toby saying yes? You make whipped cream, but instead of putting sugar in the whipped cream you put in your lime, your cordial with sugar, and you whip that in, and then you mix that with meringue and strawberries and raspberries. And it doesn't, it's a mess. It doesn't have to be very beautiful at all. Now, what's that? That's a very funny image of Mel Harrison. What's Mel Harrison doing behind there? Something's going soon. Are we taking the camera? Ah, we might be taking the camera. Let's go. Let's find out where Flora is. And I'll just mute this one. Got a bit of technical situations here. Oh, so. good. Oh, good. Good. Okay, we're on. And where are we, where off, are we to? off to? Well, we're off, we're off. We're going to go behind the bed. Oh. Oh, look at the hurdles. All nice and solid. Oh. And, um, there. There, I can recognise that hat. I recognise that hat, don't oh, you? I can't see anybody. You can't see anybody? Oh, let me see. Oh. Oh. What is this? Let's what investigate. Bobby, <laughs> so, who is it behind Rachel? Oh, they are sitting very, very close. Oh, very, very close. Down, down, down. 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 I'm so sorry to have disturbed her. Who is it? Well, I think it's Flora. I never know. Yeah. Oh. oh, yes. Yes, that was it's, a yes. I yeah, think that yes, was a I yes. think it was. I think that was a yes. So what is Flora doing? Well, it's easy. She's facing, she's facing a tree, which is, um, which is very near the planet Earth. And oh. There's a, there's, there's a vessel underneath the tree. Now, that, now that's a beech tree, I would say. That is not elder. You know something about the oh. world? She's always slightly ahead of us. You know? Oh, is she? So, although, <laughs> like last week, we were doing the ash, and you know what? She made elderflower, you know? Oh, so she's a week yeah. ahead. She's a week ahead, because she's a bit of a time traveller. Oh, I did hear she was a time traveller. Did you hear yeah. she was a time traveller? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So, I oh. wonder what she's doing with the beech tree, then. Wow. Oh. 
Oh, I think it's just happened. <gasps> What's going on? What's happened? Hello. 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 I'm making myself. Well, I'm making it for a friend, actually. What are you making? I'm making a tree essence. How'd you do that? And what is a tree essence, even? A Eva? tree essence? My goodness me, girl, don't you know? Do you lick trees? You don't lick them. <laughs> but you can lick them if you want to. There's a little leaf here. In fact, if you come and have a look, if you lick that leaf, that's got layers on it. Let me just film you that. <laughs> turn off the essence. Ah. I was expecting jelly. It's not really jelly. It's quite wrinkly, isn't it, if you look at it? Oh, yeah. It looks like it's been very neatly folded. Oh, it does look like it's been very neatly folded. Is that what you've folded. been doing? Well, that's my jobs. You know, I've got a lot of jobs in the woods, but one of them is, is neatly folding beech leaves. Well, I'm very impressed with your, your, with your work you've been doing. Look at this. It's absolutely perfect. I was bit here some blooming insects come along. and oh. But you know what I've been doing? I've made, out of an elder, right, you can blow the fire with it because you make a hole in it. Oh, we heard they make that earlier. Pea shooters. So when those bugs keep eating your folded <laughs> leaves, you can use them and like that and can go away. Oh, oh we'll try that. That leaf, goodness sake. Anyway, I'm in, in the moment here. Okay. See that there? That is a bowl of water and the water is from a purest well <gasps> it has to be from a pure it's like a river or somewhere pure you know pure okay and i then i've got a few bits from the tree itself because this is a tree essence you make flower essences yes you make tree essences so what what parts of the tree have you got in there what can you see my dear use your big nozzle i can see Neatly folded leaves. Neatly folded leaves. Don't you touch it with anything other than a bit of beach. Ah, I'm scared. You've got that beach in your hand, that neatly folded bit. You can poke it with that, but not with your finger. This is precious in there. Right, so I'm poking in the precious, would I call it a potion? It's an essence. Essence. Yeah. I told you that. <laughs> oh, I can't see anything in it. Now, come back to me now, please. Now, what you have to do, now, I don't know if you remember at the end of last session, I told you how to meet a tree, how you've got to do your roots down, how you've got to open your heart, how you've got to be at one with the tree to be able to go, well, what happened with me this morning? I've been here for, I've been here for hours since the sun come up. Sometimes that can take five minutes. Sometimes that can take a few hours, but it has to be right. If I came here, because it's a beech tree. Beech tree. Now, we ain't got many beech trees in this wood, but they are one of my favourite trees. These oh. and hornbeams are actually Flora's favourite trees. Oh, that's very beautiful. For their strength and stability, you see. And they look like a big old elephant's leg, don't you think? Definitely. They've got the eyes in the trunk if you go up. You'll see some little eyes, because beech keep a watchful eye over you. Oh. Make sure you're, you're, you know, you're keeping yourself in check. And that's what the essence is for, really. Wow, that is a very big elephant's leg. And they get much bigger than that. And you can find sometimes you see red ones. So anyway, back to me, please, dear. <laughs> what we've been doing. <laughs> She's a bit bossy. <laughs> what I've been doing is sitting here, like I say, in, in the zone. I've put my roots down, I've opened my heart space. I really am connecting to everything, concentrating on my breathing. I popped me little glass bowl, got a big glass bowl, down at the bottom of that tree there. Okay. With some Ooh. water in and some leaves. And then you ask the tree if the tree will give you some of their essence, their magic. It's like, a, you know, have you heard of batch flower remedies or bark flower or woof yes. flower remedies? Yes. Well, this is how they do them as well, you see. Oh. Yeah, this is how you, if you do that. So you can do all sorts of things. You make them into like a little sort of tincture. So I've got a little pot of brandy. I'm not going <laughs> to tell you where that is. I've heard about you and brandy. I've got a little bit of brandy in a little bottle. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I've waited until you saw the moment when it happened. But the tree, if this wants to, you've got to ask it and everything, you know, like I said last week. Mm -hmm. Come on down, that put its essence in that water. And now I have got the magic essence of that tree in that water. That is why you can't oh. stick your finger in, Sue, because I'll put Sue essence in there. Oh. So that's why you had oh. to use it. Even now, when I'm going to remove these bits out of here, because the job is done so now when i how do you know when the job is done didn't you feel it 
I was sitting down at Kylie's house, didn't you, Kylie? Oh, is that what you were telling us, That's Kylie? That's what Kylie was saying. I stand now, Flora, you can move on. Oh. Because they know animals. So you just know, you feel it. Can you look, just, just hold that ball. Can you feel Essence Beach in there? Oh. Oh, maybe. Yeah. No, maybe about it, my dear. You've okay. got to be certain. Yes okay. or no? And let me, let me. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. So now I can take out these leaves. And what I do is, you see, I add a bit of this essence water to my brandy. Oh, and I have a couple of little drops on my tongue, and that help me. But I'll tell you all about beach next week. I'm going to tell you about beach this week because we're not there yet. No, you're a week ahead. I'm a week ahead, so you better go back in time. I my better dear. go find the others. Bye, Bye, Flora. Thanks for that. And so off we go. Oh, let's find Rachel. I think we have some. Well, we had a question. I don't know if there is still a question. If we wanted to ask that now or in a minute. There we go. Yes, let's do questions. Oh, okay, I th Laurie, I think. My. Oh, yeah, we could. Yeah. Um, we've, we've got a cocoon and we just found it. We don't, we think it's a moth cocoon. Can I, can I see? It's outside. Have you got it there? Where, where is it? Where's your moth cocoon? In, it, it's, we have a, like a butterfly thing because last year we had, we ordered some cocoon, so... And that we and we saw and we let and we saw them hatch. We've got some caterpillars. We could have come. We've got two caterpillar nets. They've got two tiny caterpillar holes. nets. Fantastic. They've, they've got tiny That's holes. great. Tiny well, bring us your bring us your knowledge of caterpillars and moths next week. That would be great. Anybody else got any questions or observations? Because I want to show you something. Look, here's our cocoon. Oh, is that your cocoon? My God. Yeah. Let's have a look again. I couldn't see it. What happened to it? Oh, there uh, it is. We found it like this. It looks a bit cold. Missing cold. Can you put it down oh, to the camera oh. so I can see it? I'm That's sure. it. I'm That's sure. your cocoon. Yeah, it looks a bit missing cold. It's, mm -hmm. That's amazing. Thank you, well, thank you. We've got in our cat, ca we've got our cat in the net. This is, yeah. the, this is where we've been keeping it and we've got another one of them. We put some leaves in and we've been putting it in there. Putting into the leaves, leaves, keep it the leaves where mum found it so it ate them. But mate, and, and, and where do you, and you put the net out at night time, do you? Or in the daytime? It just lives. Is it at night time or day time? Oh, oh, it's floor. Oh, at night. We just you see keep what they've, they've, been, they've got a they've got a moth thing, you know. Night and, and they found this this night. cocoon inside oh. it. A cocoon? A cocoon. What? What on earth is a cocoon? A caterpillar um, um comes in it. A caterpillar comes in it. Yeah. They 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 they. They make a cocoon before they turn to a moth or a butterfly. Cocoon. It's a cocoon. Oh, oh look, Flora, Flora, can you have a look now? That's can, a time you, capsule, my dear. You need to put your glasses on, Flora. Put your glasses on, have a look. Oh, my goodness. I know them as time capsules. You go in and you're one thing and you pop out transformed. My goodness me. Have you ever been in one? Well, you know, I haven't. It, it's a bit small. So what happens? Do you do you kind of um? You have to shrink yourself. Have to shrink yourself. I thought, I thought it must be something like that. I've turned into a caterpillar. I, 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 I thought I thought I had something. Like, yeah, I don't know about that. Cold, but it would have been outside. That's, that's a really good. That's, that's a really cold. good catch of that. Do, do you put it out at night or in the daytime? It just lives in our outside shed. It lives in our outside shed. Said a voice from the distance. <laughs> That's an almighty goddess. That's an almighty goddess from the outside shed. That's good to know. It lives in the outside shed. Because it needs to have that total temperature, you see, because it used to be outside, didn't it? Uh, it needs to be outside. It does. It, it does. does. Because it does. if it's inside and then the heat can go on or the wood burner's on or That's anything true. like that. That's true. It gets too hot then. That too might hot. be too hot. Too hot. You don't want it to transform into a phoenix. Oh, no. Mm. 
uh, trouble. Uh, and you want to check it every day, don't you? You want to check it every day. Well, you got to check it at least once a day. Once a day, you got to check it. Oh, yes. think, I like the Wait, leaves. Oh, and it's Toby. Toby's wants something. What's right. what? What are you up to, Toby? I'm changing. Toby's got a leaf. The <gasps> world's what? largest leaf. <laughs> the world. The size of my face. Show them what it is. What size? Snow leaf. It's an oak of, leaf. That is yeah, big. Yeah, it might not look like it, but it's the size of my face. That's a big oak leaf. I know. It used to be bigger, are you, but uh, it's crinkled up. Are you, are you just really small, Toby? <laughs> no, um, I think it's because this is very big. A very big leaf or a very small Toby. I now, now talking of oak leaves, I want, I just what I've been looking at this year, I've been watching the acorns. They're coming on the trees, little, little, little baby acorns on sticks, on stems. And rain them. Um, yeah, rain, rain them. Them. <laughs> Not too long ago, um, yes. me and my mum went on a walk at about a month ago, and the yes. oaks were first getting their leaves, and they were tiny little baby oak leaves. Did you see them? Did you see yeah. them? Yeah. They on are sticks, the most yeah? fluffy little baby oak leaves ever. It, it's amazing. The speed of the seed is coming on now. The speed of the seed. The ash keys, the acorns. And I did actually, um, this is the tree that we're not going to see. <coughs> I just bought this, um, I just bought this to show you. This is the lime tree seeds. Mm -hmm. We might be talking about that another time. I but see. they are amazing. The lime tree seeds. Like Have you heard about... Well, I tell you what, just before we, we stop, I want to show you, there's an artist here. There's an artist who's been doing art. And I think mm -hmm. we should go... Floor. An artist doing art? An artist I've never heard art. anything so ridiculous heard such a thing? in my life. Something so ridiculous. Uh, I, think, I think we should go and see what Arch has been doing. Or craft, or art. Arty crafty. Arty crafty. Arty like crafty. A bit of arty crafty. Bit of arty crafty. I've got something I want to read after that and all. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look. Um, now, shall I take your, shall I take your um, situation here? Do you want me to do that for you, my dear? Oh, oh, that's it. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. Am I walking yeah. towards you? Have I got, oh, is it this way around? You can turn the camera around so you can see a little bit like this. I know about technology, do you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, you can feel like that, please. And okay. then look at that. Well, I can, I can see you. I can see you. Oh, hello. I, have this. I can see you. So today, I'm going to make an elderflower. We've got, we've got red ones. Hmm. So if you've got white ribbon, you can make a proper elderflower flower. So how many petals on an elderflower? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so yes. you get five strips, each strip. I've only got three here. You put one over, one under. But can you? Yeah, I'm and, three, and then you carry on, and then you pin them together. I say, Flora. Flora. Oh. I, I think you're going to meet me here. I've done a run and stitch around the outside. And then we're going to pull it together, take the pins out. So can you remember the cut, the name of the shape? A five-sided shape. No, I can't remember. Pent something, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Pentagon. A pentagon. Pentagon, yeah. Pentagon. Five there's, there's so a we've made a pentagon. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're just going to pull it together. back to the smoke. And if it was white, it would be an elderflower. Oh, look at that. There we go. It, it matches your jacket, actually. Thank you. <laughs> or it could be a rosette. A rosette for, for the horse. Just a rosette well. for kinder, because we're brilliant. <laughs> and that's it. Look, I've got a white one where I've just put, I found a little wire. And then oh. this one made with ribbon. Oh, lovely. And it's that's really that. great. Thank you very much. Oh, you're most welcome. That's great. Now, Fl Flora, did you say you wanted to do some reading? I've got something special for you to ask an elder tree. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I'm glad you're on this week's track because you did go a bit off to next week. 
One step ahead, there's nothing wrong with that. There she goes. Our lifespan is similar to elders. Now, it would be nice if we could turn that volume down it and would, speak again, because I can hear myself. It's yes. weird, isn't it? Shall I, shall I try and do that? Yeah. I can, I can, can you hear that? So something I didn't tell you about earlier on, though, is like elders, they like to grow where there's human beings around. You know, there's, there's some trees that like to grow in the real wild. The elders have been around with us for a really long time. And every time you go and pick a little flower or you pick a little berry, it's like you go back in time. It's like all of your elders before you, all of your ancestors stand with you. So when your, your mother or father picked an elderberry or a flower or your grandparents or your great-grandparents or your great-great-great-grandparents all the way back to when they were wearing furs, all been picking elderflowers and elderberries they have because honestly they are so good for you. They make champagne and we all need that now and again. They make cordial which is absolutely delicious and they make a really good vitamin C fill rich full of the berries. But more than that, I'm going to read you this little bit out of this lovely little book here. Our lifespan is similar to the elders. And like the elders, we each stand alone. And at the same time, we're part of a bigger, interconnected picture. Our words and deeds can live on in the hearts and minds of others. And all we influence in the flow of what happens around us. And that's really... I think we talk about that quite a lot, don't we? Kindness and what you say lives with other people. And, and it's important, therefore, to respect everybody and be kind. We are part of each friend we have, our community and our places of work. So if you want to go and sit with an elder tree, you can ask them these three things and ask yourself them too. You sit underneath that elder tree, like we talked about before, put your root down, open up your heart, sit down. You can ask them some questions. And this is what this book suggests. What can I learn from the generations of people that have been before me? Well, you know, we talked about elders, didn't we? There's an awful lot. There's an awful lot of learning and knowledge that has been learned by people before us who are older than us. who might not even be on this planet anymore. They might be wherever we go after this planet. You know, but they learned something and that's passed all the way down. And so sometimes it's good to sit with them and go, what can I learn from people who have been before me? It might not be your great, great nan. It might be Sue's great, great nan. Who knows? What, and this is the second question, what am I going to do to look after this earth because I love trees? That's a really good question, isn't it? What is it that you can do? What you, as an individual little bean, what can you do to look after this planet? Whether it's recycling your things or whether it's treading lightly and planting good things in the earth, whether it's talking to other people, whether it's holding up a placard when you think that something should be different, whatever it is that you can do, what is it that you're going to do to defend this, this earth and those trees that, that we love? This forest school wouldn't be forest school without any trees, would it? That would be just... Mud school. school. Mud school. It would be mud school. Very muddy. And the last question here is, what am I going to leave behind on this planet for future generations? So it's not no longer thinking about your granddad and your great granddad and your great 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 granddad. They're talking about your when you're grown up and all an adult and stuff, and, and you have children and babies and things, or your friends do, or whatever it is that happens. What is it you're gonna you're gonna teach to children and your friends? So that future generations have still got a little bit of you in there. And that's what the elder do, you see. The elder kind of supports you to remember that we're part of a really long history and we're part of the future and all. And it says down here, you can write down your thoughts and identify where you can create change. There is much to be done and much to be achieved in one lifetime. Know that you are part of a long line of brave, loving, intelligent, inventive and adaptable people who love the earth we can each create a far-reaching transformation that's a good word that's what them butterflies are doing in them chrysalises transformation a really good word through our actions we can change things through our actions our feelings and our words no matter who we are and no matter what our circumstances never miss out on an opportunity to talk about the things 
that we can do to help the earth regenerate and heal. Our individual actions can fast become a rising tide of change. Well, thank you, Flora. Every little thing you do make a difference, my loves. Every little thing. And that is the end of me and Flora today. That's the end of what I've got to say anyway. You can go away now, Sue. Okay. Well, I think it's time, don't you? I think it's time. I think we're on our time, eh? Anybody got anything to say? I'm, I'm on mute, aren't I? I'm on mute here. Let me unmute. <laughs> Anybody got anything to say? Oh, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Shall I? Well, actually, uh, you did. You missed Flora. She was, pretty, she was pretty good today, actually. She was pretty good. Yeah, she was pretty wise, actually. She was pretty wise. Was she? Today. Yeah, she, she wasn't. She, wasn't, she was in a kind of contemplate. No, she wasn't as rude as she was oh, last week. No, she wasn't. She was in a kind of contemplation near a beach tree, and so she was preempting. Oh, lovely. She was preempting to the next I'll week. I'll watch this video and find out all about it. You will. Okay. Oh, hi, Toby. Uh, oh, uh, Have yeah. you heard of? Oh, I can't saying... hear you. I still can't I... hear you, Toby. It's Maybe because I'll... of me. Let's start again, Toby. We can hear you now. Have you heard of the saying, oak before ash, you're in for a splash, and ash before oak, you're in for a soak? Yes! That's a good saying, isn't it? So what did yeah. we have this year? Um, we had uh, oak before ash, we're in for yeah. a splash. So in for a splash. And that's about the leaves coming out, isn't it? It's like, which leaves come out first? And mm -hmm. that can tell we us all sorts of things. We saw um, oak's leaves You're months right. before ash. Oh. Did you? Months. Really? Months? They were gosh. so colourful this year as well, Toby. Did you notice how red they were yeah. before they came out and how bright green they were? They were luscious. I've got a mm -hmm. whole set. Well, my, I go for a run in the mornings and where I run, there's four oak trees that I call the windy oaks. And no matter how <laughs> calm it is, they're always windy. And their leaves were beautiful. And they're catkins. So many of them, they cover so the road many catkins, when they drop yeah. them. I Ryan, see. what have you got, love? I've got a question. Mel, yeah. why, are you, why are you never around when Flora's here? Hmm. Well, to tell you the truth, Ryan, and don't tell... Rachel, just go it's over a, there. It's a very good question. There. It's a very good question. Go I'm so glad you asked go it. Away. Okay, I'm going. Go. I'm going. Just go very good question. Secret. It's a very good tell question. Tell them when you're there. Uh, I think she's a bit weird. Um, and, um, you know... The others can tell me what she does, and I don't mind actually seeing her on a film. It's all right, but actually face to face, I don't know. Well, maybe we're a bit similar. I don't know, but you know, this is in glasses, is you? Actually, oh yeah. Well, that's because they're from QD, and um, you know, lots of people go there at the moment because there ain't a lot of places open. Um, that's probably why. Yeah, but yeah, good question, Ryan. But I'll get braver. Maybe one day. Maybe one day you'll see us both together. Uh, uh, uh. Can I come back? You now? can come back now. Don't Thanks. tell the others. That was such a good question. Will you tell me later, Ryan? Tell, tell me later what you said. Okay, I'll, I'll contact you later. Okay. Maybe. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> any, 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 any? Now you know we had um, we had Rowan here. You know he he he's, he's not here anymore. No. But we can send our love to we Rowan. We can send our love to Rowan. And yes. everybody who isn't here. Actually, that's what we'll do right now. I'm just going to have a little bit of gratitude. A little bit of gratitude for who, who we all are and what an amazing tribe we make when we are all together. So I have gratitude for that. I'm Definitely. going to send up my gratitude up this parachute. Yes. Right through the hole up there. Can you see where the hole is? And I'm going to send it washing out. And it's going to come to your houses and everybody else's houses from the tribe. And, 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 and one, and two, two three. three. Whoosh. And uh, Trish, are you still there, Trish? He's playing his machine. Trish, I just want to let you know, just in case you can hear me. Trish! We're, we're going to try and bring a camera in. He's on his... The camera hat. We're going to film that wren, Trish. We're going to film that wren. It's um, <laughs> everybody, or al allow everyone to be unmuted. Um, yes, yeah, allow everybody to be unmuted. Yes, yeah. please, Leon. Okay. Well, feel free to unmute yourselves. Hi Anna, I can see you. I can see Anna. Your chair. I wonder if Tris, I wonder if Tris is they, oh, they seem to have frozen or they're just moving really slowly. Do you think they're frozen? What? 
Yeah, they, yeah, you they're frozen. using enhanced script, um, script oh, 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 no, he's not frozen. I saw somebody walking it there. It means they're Chris, dealt with hi. He's muted. Muted, unmuted. Yay. Well, we will see you next week. And um, what tree are we doing next week? Mm -hmm. Flora's normally one step ahead. I think Flora was going to be on the beach. Feature that we can feature the whole beach. Essence of beach. We could do a whole beach. Just beach, 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 beach, just 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 beach, just